Well, good evening, everyone. Um, <laughs> we are a a uh, sparse uh, group, um, but tonight uh, we are gathered together to do uh, what we always do. Um, in the mornings, um, I always say that we are gathered together to praise God, to um, read His Word, and to intercede for each other. And tonight we're kind of doing the same thing. And even if it's just a few of us, we can sing these wonderful hymns. I know everyone in the morning is glad that I don't lead us in music. <laughs> but uh, we're going we're, we're gonna to sing some songs uh, for anyone that's at home. We're going to sing uh, some contemporary songs tonight. Kim's going to play and we're going to just enjoy uh, the process of, of that. And then we will get into our prayers and intercede. Um, as Melissa and I were leaving, I was uh, got a text uh, and was able to um, call Lois. She is in the hospital. Um, they are taking care of her. I'll be going tomorrow uh, to go visit and, and pray for her. So that is a major priority for us to pray for tonight as Lois. Um, Grace is still uh, struggling with um, shingles. They've gone down a little bit, but of course the nerve, uh, the nerve parts of it are, are what's the problem. It's not the rash, it's the, the damage that it, not damage, the effect it has on nerve endings, um, which is evil, um, uh, so, so awful. Uh, so we need to be praying for her. Um, I'm trying to think of, I was thinking there was something else uh, that needed to be lifted up and just can't remember it. Um, but yeah, those, uh, those things. I know uh, Boblin has asked for prayers for his uh, sister-in-law, or no, not sister-in-law, his sister. Um, and so... Uh, we need to be praying for her as well when we get into the uh, to the needs. And then also, uh, we have two people here <laughs> that are going to be starting full-time school in the classroom tomorrow. Uh, so I think praying for students and teachers uh, this school year. Hopefully it's less weird than it's been over the last few years and more stable. Um, I think Melissa <laughs> is looking forward to things <laughs> transitioning to normal I, I uh, Melissa I was driving up a pen and I the veterinary clinic says normal is not coming back Jesus is and I'm just like don't say something like that no normal needs to come back <laughs> I want Jesus to come back but I want normal to come back yeah. too and that's made me laugh about the schools okay well let us start with a word of prayer and then we are going to uh, sing together these wonderful hymns and or songs hymns songs whatever <laughs> and then we will get into our prayers holy father we thank you we thank you that even on weeks where sickness and uh, and work and other things separate us from each other that you you are still here for those that are away from us tonight you are taken care of lord let them know that they are loved let them know that they are in our prayers let this let this moment feed us and lift us up in your holy name we pray amen amen okay let's start with holy ground holy ground okay
Words to the one right before this, holy and anointed one. Let's go back again to the next one, Here I Am to Worship, and keep everything close tonight. Let's skip that one. No, I've got it. 
Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just couldn't turn the page. I gotcha. <laughs> Let's go in the other direction and do I want to know you. Sweet. I moved the page not knowing where you're going to go. You went right there. That's to make up for the last one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Yeah, just four. One more. One more? Okay. Almost the same as. <laughs> <laughs> The Lord reigns. This is from the passage that we read on Sunday that uh, a part of it I didn't quite uh, really talk about. In chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old received their commendation. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. When I think about that, or, okay, <laughs> Melissa was fixing a, a blind back there. Um, when, we, when I think about that, um, I can't help but think about the battle that we've had in the church with, um, with science from, like, from ages and ages. Uh, we forget sometimes that it was the church that persecuted Galileo. <laughs> It, uh, it, it has gone on and on. In the Wisdom of Solomon, which is one of the apocryphal books, Solomon talks about this battle between, between the learned and the church. And what he does is it's really incredible because he says, look, they have all this knowledge, they see all of these things, but they miss the point. And they miss the point at the very beginning, he says, the reason they miss it is because they think that the world is inevitable. They think that destruction is just going to happen and it's all chaos. I think that's really interesting that this is written. I mean, latest idea that it'd be written, because I don't think anyone believes it was really Solomon that wrote it. Um, but it's like in the, I mean, we're looking at 
like 300 AD or BC. It's very, very er, er, early when you think about where we are now. There's no Darwinianism, there's no idea of evolution. And yet there's a group of people that, are, that still even at that point think that it was chaos, that it was nothingness, that there's no point to life. And if, I mean, we think about Solomon, Solomon said there's no point to life. He said because of that, they're stuck in death. Because it's chaos, that all of a sudden you're not, you're not living life. Like without the idea of, of God creating the world, we're just, we're just molecules put together and we're going to just fade away. And we can't see what is obvious in front of us. Kim, you're wearing a NASA shirt. How many of those people that see the stars, the glory and splendor that's there, how many of those people seeing what should draw them to the fact that a creator has to be there have blinded their minds so much because of the, the, destruct, the inevitable destruction, kind of the Ragnarok that is going to happen through Darwinian philosophy and science, that it's just, it's all going to, it's chaos and it's going to end in chaos. And they can't see the beauty. And what we see in Hebrews is, he says, by faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God. And it's based on that faith that the people can really see the beauty around them. And that's kind of the meditation I want us to think about, is the fact that we have been given the wonderful privilege of having faith, which is a gift. I mean, we are saved by grace, or we are saved by faith through grace. This is not of our own, and I'm paraphrasing. It's a gift from God, right? Grace isn't a gift, because grace means gift. So Paul's talking about faith being the gift. Faith is the gift that we've been given, and that's been given to us, and in that faith we see that God is the creator. Everything makes sense. Everything has its place. All of a sudden, we look at the stars, and we see that God spoke them into existence. We can see, uh, we can see <laughs> the dying grass outside, <laughs> and we can remember back when it, was, <laughs> when it was thriving, and those blades of grass were made by God. And I'm not saying this to be silly, um, but we can look down at this <laughs> love, <laughs> lovely blue carpet, <laughs> but the science that it took to make this this carpet um i mean that that took a lot of science that didn't just emerge uh people studied polyester and and blue dyes and things and they they constructed and it actually is amazing the world that we live in that god has created and with the understanding that god is in control that he has created this then all of a sudden what is chaos at some level is not chaos that's out of control. It's chaos that is in God's hands. It doesn't matter if it's chaos in the universe as the planets spin around. I mean, these balls of gas blaze. It doesn't matter if it's chaos in our own personal lives when we're going through times of change or um, of trouble. God's in control. And that, to me, is just amazing. But it has to start, has to start with God and God being in control. And then everything else has its place. On Sunday, we're going to talk about putting our, uh, our focus on Jesus, who is the forerunner and the pioneer of our faith. And that's where we, we focus. So we'll get into uh, some other things there. But tonight for us, as we are about to pray for our friends and our families, um, just that understanding that God created everything. He sustains everything. And that's who we're talking to and asking for the help for Lois and for, um, for Grace and for situations in our world and our church. And I just it's just a very comforting thought that he is in control. Uh, well, let us pray. Holy Father, please let us never forget that you are in control. Regardless of what is going on around us, you love us and you are there for us. Guard our hearts and our minds and guide our hearts and our minds as we go through our day. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Okay.
and because I cannot, we can skip that one, Melissa. Um, let us confess our, or let's let us make our confession to God to begin our service. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we will just go through our prayers as we as we usually do. Um, we'll pray together the call to prayer, and then we will go to our next section with a, a pause after it. O oh Lord, we entreat you mercifully to hear us, and grant that we, to whom you have given the desire to pray, may by your mighty aid be defended and comforted in all our adversities through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Gracious Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Fill it with all truth, in all truth with all peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it. Where it is in error, direct it. Where in anything it is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, strengthen it. Where it is in want, provide for it. Where it is divided, be united. For the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen.
Almighty God, who hast given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure conduct. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail, all of which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. the great honor of being able to pray for those that we know that need Christ. So let us pray, trusting that it is God who calls them, and not our works, and not our words, but the Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your Spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, to the honor of your name. Amen. Lord, in your mercy. Now let us pray for those in need. Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to your never-failing care and love for this life and the life to come, knowing that you are doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Holy Father, please be with Lois, with Candy, Grace, Jonathan's child, as he goes home. Be with his teachers and students tomorrow. be with us with the car issues. Let us get through this. Lord, 
Lord, in your mercy. Now if I can get up. <laughs> oh. We praised God in song. And we've lifted up our requests. And now it's time to have communion. I gotta tell you, I love Wednesdays. It doesn't matter if there's only two people here. It is such a wonderful, wonderful union. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Greet each other in the name of Christ. <laughs> Peace. No, shake my hand with that on there. Peace. And now, as our Lord Jesus Christ taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in everlasting life. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in everlasting life. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in everlasting life. Now, receive the blessing of God Almighty, the peace of God which passes all understanding. Guard your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us always. Amen. 
Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.